Hi, it's Alana and Max here with 630, and today we're going to talk about biking with your dog using a leash attachment. So stick around. So this is part two in our Bike with a Dog series. In the first video, we talked about biking with your dog in a basket, and this time we are testing out this leash attachment. And it's both of our first times using one of these, so it's new to us. And I'm excited to give it a go because I know Max loves to run and walk. Um, he definitely prefers it to being trailed around. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. So like with the dog basket, the first thing you want to do is get your dog used to the bike. Max is looking at the neighbors right now, but he's pretty comfortable around bicycles by now. <laughs> um, but if your dog isn't comfortable around bicycles, you definitely want to get them used to just being around the bicycle. So, you know, hanging out by the bike, giving a lot of positive reinforcement, treats, things like that. And the second step is to walk the bike with your dog on a leash. So let's try that out now. So once your dog is comfortable walking while on a leash next to the bike, then you're going to want to attach him to this harness um, or attach his harness to the leash attachment and then walk while straddling the bike. And you're still going to want to take it slow and just make sure that you train him or her not to walk in front of the bike, not to walk too close to the bike. So you can do this by, of course, giving your dog a lot of positive reinforcement every time they look up at you um, and just nudging him or even like gently stepping on his toes if he tries to walk too close to the bike or in front of the bike. Okay, so now your dog should be comfortable on the leash attachment, walking with you on the bike, and now you can start riding. So remember to start off slow, um, check on your dog often, try to do it in an area with minimal distractions, especially if your dog's like Max, who wants to chase everything he sees, and have fun. Keep it short to start off, um, and then as your dog gets more comfortable, you can pick up the speed. And remember, safety first. If things are getting too out of control, just stop, go back to walking, take it back a few steps, and then work forward again. Um, and just with more practice, it might take a lot of time, depending on your dog, but with more practice, you should be riding together um, eventually and having fun. Once your dog knows what's expected of him and you know what speed to go at, um, yeah, so let's go for a short ride now. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video. If you try, or if you have already tried successfully um, biking with your dog with an attachment like this, let us know in the comments. Let us know if you have a preferred brand. This one is by Lumen Trail, um, and it seems pretty good. Um, I think I would recommend it. It's our first time using it, our honest first time using it. So we haven't had too much experience with it, but I think I like it so far. Um, I hope you enjoy lots of bike rides with your dog. Make sure to take pictures, tag us in them. I love to see them. And it's your journey, your experience. Enjoy the ride. <laughs>